we're going to look at an ISLM problem when dealing with a horizontal LM curve. So consider the economy. We have a consumption function where Y subscript D is disposable income. We have the investment function, a function of Y, real output, and the interest rate I. Government purchases, lump sum taxes, and the LM curve is going to be horizontal at an interest rate of 5%. We're going to assume that the central bank chooses the interest rate and adjust the money supply to achieve it. In that case, you'll get a flat or horizontal LM curve. So let's solve for the IS equation, equilibrium output, consumption, and investment. In equilibrium, Y will equal C plus I plus G. So we're going to substitute our information over here on the left into the right-hand side of this equation. So our consumption function our investment function, and government purchases. Now let's take care of disposable income, which is just income minus taxes. So Y minus 200 is what we're replacing Y subscript D with. And now let's collect some of the terms here. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll multiply this 0.5 by Y, and then this 0.5 multiplied by negative 200. We get that. Simplifying the right-hand side, collecting our constants and our y terms, subtracting 0.7y from both sides. So on the left-hand side now we have 1y minus 0.7y or 0.3y, and let's divide through by 0.3. I'll do that right here, so dividing through by 0.3. We have our IS equation, which just gives a relationship between equilibrium output and the interest rate. And our LM curve here is horizontal at 5%. So all we're going to do is plug in this 0 0.05 in for I. And we have our equilibrium real output. In terms of the equilibrium level of consumption, Evaluate the consumption function at Y minus the $200 of taxes, and equilibrium level of consumption is 1733.33. Equilibrium level of investment, plugging in for Y, and then plugging in the interest rate, we have 683.33. Gover government purchases is autonomous at 250. And if we add up all three of these values, we back into our real output. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.